What's up YouTube? In this video, I wanted to do a quick review on Wooter Apparel. I was on the search for some custom jerseys for my groomsmen as a groomsman proposal, and I came across Wooter Apparel on my searches. They specialize in making customized jerseys and sports apparel from basketball, football, volleyball, hockey, and a wide range of other sports and athletic gear. Based on my research and based on the website as well, they also have had a lot of big name celebrities and athletes sponsor their products. And on top of that, they claim to offer the lowest and most competitive prices for their products. So in this video, I wanna do a quick breakdown on how I navigated through the Wooter website and use their services, talk about the pros and cons of their products and give my overall thoughts. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the website is wooterapparel.com and I'll be honest, their website is a little weird and difficult to navigate through. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most interface friendly to be honest, but here is their home website and I'll walk you through the process on how I place my order. All right, so here is the front page. Uh, you're pretty much greeted with a banner and you'll see right off the bat here, uh, number one shop for custom uniforms, lowest prices guaranteed, every sport available, and a fast turnaround time. Uh, you can pretty much request a free quote here or you can chat with a representative down in that corner. Uh, but yeah, in order to place the order, I go to the top right and hit order there. And if you wanna shop around, you can check out their products first. You just scroll down and you can see uh, shop baseball, basketball, uh, football, soccer, etc. cetera. Uh, shop around first to see what you like and if you do see something you do like, uh, you do need to make an account. On the top right corner, you can see make an account, but I've already made one. Uh, so go ahead and make your account first and then I'll skip to the next steps. All right, so once you make your account, uh, go ahead and go to your dashboard and you're gonna see this right here. Uh, basically hit this button, create a design. Hopefully you already have an idea of what you want. So you're gonna find the product that you're looking for. Uh, in my case, I got a basketball jersey, hit basketball. And my product specifically was the reversible crew neck basketball jersey, here we go, and then hit next. You can find how many of these you want. Uh, I got eight because I have eight groomsmen, so eight. Uh, next. Next, you can choose what colors you wanna go for for your jerseys. The cool thing is you can choose as many colors as you'd like according to what they say right there. But for the case of my jerseys, I went with maroon, silver, white. Those are my main base colors. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go maroon silver and white uh, just a quick note the silver is not reflective it's just like a really light gray so pick your colors that you want go next and here uh, tell the designer exactly what you want uh, in this case you know because it is customizable you can really literally customize it to your liking i kept my design very simple but in this area just text out whatever you want so my example is uh, looking to create a mainly white jersey with maroon uh, font uh, just so something like that, but I think the more descriptive you can be, the better. But I'll just put that for now. You hit next. Here you upload any images or inspiration of what you want your vision to look like. For me, like what I did was I'll find like an NBA team or any team that exists that I kind of want to mimic that similar style or that similar font or whatever it may be. So go ahead and upload those images that you think might help your designer create what your vision looks like. Upload your images and then hit next. And so yeah, this is the last page. You just kind of confirm what you're looking for. Eight jerseys, eight reversible crew neck jerseys with these colors in mind. Have a good thorough description of what you want them to create for you. And then you fill these out here. Uh, the cool thing about this website also is that the quote should be free. Uh, they shouldn't charge you to talk to a designer. Uh, the de designer might be able to create one or two drafts, maybe even more for you. And then if you do like it, then you pay for it and then they make it. So that's the cool thing. Uh, so yeah, you don't pay anything quite yet. You just fill these out and then hit and submit. So after you submit all that, a representative or a designer will contact you pretty shortly. Uh, I think it only took one or two days, if, if even that for me. And then you're basically talking back and forth through email, message. Uh, you tell them like what colors you want, where, what font you want, any other designs or little uh, icons or photos you want. And again, this is a back and forth communication with them. 
uh, for a little while until you basically get a design you're very satisfied with and then at that point you pay for it and then you wait to get your product. So if you have any doubt about the service, uh, they're pretty good and responsive about uh, questions and things like that. So just contact their support team and they'll get back to you. So that's pretty much the gist of the ordering process. I'll show you guys pretty much what I ordered and then I'll talk about the pros and cons of my experience. So as I mentioned, I got the reversible crew neck basketball jersey. Uh, reversible because one side is a mainly maroon colorway and the other side is a mainly white colorway. Each jersey was individually packaged in a plastic bag like this. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised on how these came out and they're actually really decent quality for the price. This jersey in particular is made of a fairly thick mesh material. So pretty breathable, but a little bit on the heavy side too, which feels pretty durable. And so here are my designs. Uh, I'll show you this one. This is the groom's men jersey. And uh, what I did was one side was white with the italic cursive font. Uh, it says groomsmen in a maroon color with the silver stroke. And that number represents the birth date of this particular groomsman right here. On the back side, you have the last name of the person. Uh, and then you have the number in a nice large font. So I got a bunch of these for my groomsmen. And then I just got a specific groom one for myself. Uh, pretty much the exact same color theme and everything. It's just uh, this one says groom instead of groomsman, but otherwise number. Uh, I also added a little uh, tuxedo icon in the corner. You know how NBA jerseys have a little sponsor company in the corner of their jersey? It's pretty much the same thing, but I just chose a little tuxedo icon. So yeah, again, when it comes to all the details of this jersey, I communicated each and every detail with my designer from the names of each person to the color of the stroke to the size of the number. And even on this side, I chose the font and I found inspiration from like some Google image. And then I also wanted the tuxedo logo that I chose to put on the right side of the chest right here. So all in all, the back and forth with my designer was probably a good few days uh, to say the least, but they really made it on a Photoshop or something. They sent it to me and I approved of it and it came out just as I expected. So awesome product. All right, so now I want to quickly talk about the pros and cons based on my experience. Uh, let's talk about the pros first. Pro number one is that the price is very reasonable. For a totally customized jersey, that is not a bad deal at all. And especially given the quality and the durability of the product, it's a great, great deal. Keep in mind too that this is a reversible one. So technically this one cost me, I think $50, but if it's reversible, it's like $25 per side. So it's great. Pro number two is that the customer service was really good. Uh, they're very communicative throughout the whole process. Uh, they answered all of my questions and I just felt the overall process was very smooth and helpful. I did not feel at all that I had to wait long for them to reply or respond back to me at all. So very good and efficient customer service. All right, next I wanna talk about the cons, which actually aren't even that bad, but I just thought I'd bring these up. Con number one is that the turnaround time is about three to four weeks, which is expected given you know it's customized and they try to do a really good quality job with it. So just expect that your product might take a good couple of weeks to arrive. This website might not be for you if you need something like immediately. Con number two is that they actually did mess up my order, but I think it's because the way the interface was designed or the way I communicated with them, uh, because I ordered one of these groom jerseys and then a bunch of these grooms men jerseys uh, they confused it and they forgot to give me this one but again they were very responsive and communicative about that they apologized for the mess up and they were able to get this to me uh, not long after I asked so uh, just a little difficulty navigating if you have a very difficult order just be very communicative and very careful so all in all, I'm really happy with Wooter Apparel and their services. Their jerseys are legit, they're really good quality, their prices are very low and competitive, and they're definitely worth it. I pretty much got exactly what I wanted and their customer service was really great as well. So if you guys have any questions about the Wooter Apparel services or if you want to know more about my order or my experience, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and I'll help you the best I can. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And consider subscribing for more content on styles, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, be sure to check out my older videos here and here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.